Hi, everybody. Hi, guys. Yo, what up, Blue Ruin fans? So, a while back, you asked us some questions on our Facebook and our Instagram. So today, we are going to be answering some of those questions in a little video response for you. Let's start from the first one. What are your favorite bands? Well, actually, it's difficult to say uh, because uh, I have a lot of bands that I consider my favorite ones, but if I have to choose, I can say that uh, my favorite bands are Tool, Primus and The Cure. The Cure, always in my heart. Well, my favorite bands are Aerosmith, Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, Metallica, Motley Crue, LA Guns, Offspring, Iron Maiden. Oh man, like, you know, this, <laughs> this for me changes like all the time. I mean, everyone knows like my favorite band is Green Day and the reason for that being that they were the ones that got me into music in the first place. Like I fell in love with them as a child. Um, I'm also a massive Beatles fan. Um, as you can tell, look, I have like a Green Day tattoo and a Beatles tattoo. The Beatles just because they're completely freaking legendary and they just wrote some amazing songs. On the other side of things, probably definitely chuck in there, like, a, I'm a huge Rancid fan. I finally got to see them live, like, two years ago for the first time. It was so awesome. And they opened for Green Day. It was just freaking perfect. Like, oh my god, I was, like, crying because it was just, like, holy shit, like, two of my favorite bands. Another band that I really love is bands like Kiss, Steel Panther, you know, like, uh, my husband's really into Kiss, so, like, he got me into Kiss. I mean, that's pretty much it for bands. Like, I, it, it always changes, you know, like, I'm always into, like, um, like, random stuff as well. Like, at the moment, I'm listening to, like, all these, like, old school, like, 90s or 80s whatever songs but i'm also real into like japanese rock as well my all-time favorite band is my chemical romance other bands that i absolutely love are the used bring me the horizon fallout boy the killers other music that i like that is not so much rock are artists like sufian stevens radical face amanda palmer neutral milk hotel and when I was very young and first getting into music, the first artist I ever really got obsessed with was Eminem. So I am a huge Eminem fan still. Who would you like to support? Hmm. Uh, well, maybe <laughs> the same bands that I say that are my favorite ones. <laughs> so Tool, Primus and The Cure. I would love to support Rolling Stones, of course. I would love to open a gig of Rolling Stones. I, I mean, there's so many, really. I would absolutely die if I got to support My Chemical Romance. If we got to do that, I would just lose the plot. Like, that would be incredible. Another band I would love to open for would be the Foo Fighters. I really love the Foo Fighters. What are your favorite venues to play at? Uh, well, uh, if I have to say um, a place uh, in which I have already played, I think that the best one is uh, in Bradford, the night train. Uh, I played there with Blue Ruin in the last tour and it was uh, a really nice place, uh, very big. Uh, with uh, a big uh, backstage in which we could relax uh, before the gig and also people uh, were really nice uh, so we had a really good time there. If I have to choose uh, a place in which I would like to play in the future I think that uh, uh, I choose uh, the New Age Club in Treviso that is a place uh, in which uh, we would have played uh, with Delia Guns in May but unfortunately we had to postpone it because of the lockdown so hopefully we could play there uh, soon I would love to play at the Royal Albert Hall, of course but also in some cool, in some cool punk rock festivals around Europe and especially UK. Well, you know, my favorite venue um, to play at was actually, there, there used to be this venue in Auckland um, called the King's Arms. It used to be, I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, and I know it got knocked down. It got knocked down like what, last year or the year before, which is like really sad. But we used to play there all the time. And um, 
like we just loved it there, you know, like the, the sound engineer, he was like super cool and um, the venue was just super awesome. Everyone who ran it was really nice and the stage was like big enough, you know, and there was a real cool outdoor area and like all our friends bands and stuff would play there and like um, international bands would play there as well. Like um, we opened for like uh, Shuri Curry from the Runaways there, we opened for Buck Cherry there, like we did heaps of cool shows there. I think my favorite one I did there was the time when we opened for the Bleeders because everybody knows that like I was obsessed with the Bleeders when I was like 12 and I'm just, like, yeah, I was like really stoked when we got that opportunity. So thanks Angelo. My favorite venue that sticks out to me is MCP Apache. Every time we've played there, we've played there twice. It's just been such a good time. I love the vibe. Just the whole energy of the venue and the people who come to the shows. It just reminds me of the old punk shows I used to go to when I was a teenager, like when I was growing up. And also on my birthday, they sang happy birthday to me. And I'm a very soft-hearted, emotional person. So I was very charmed <laughs> by that. How did you meet each other? I got to know Anna and Charlotte, uh, thanks to Eliana, the guitarist. Uh, because uh, one day she told me that she saw a post on Facebook in which uh, a New Zealand punk uh, band was searching a bassist uh, to play in Europe. And so I thought, uh, why not? So I sent my videos to Anna and Charlotte uh, and they said, okay, let's do it. So we decided to start this new adventure together in Europe. Me and Anna are both from New Zealand. So I met Anna when I was, how old was I, Anna? Was I like 12? Were we 12? I think so. And Or maybe, I don't know, 12 or 13. <laughs> and I remember Anna had like her nose pierced or something and she had like pink earrings, like these ones actually. And I just thought she was the coolest person I'd ever seen. So anyway, we've been friends for a really long time and I met Eliana and Electra through the wonders of the internet. So yeah. What is the best band you've seen live? Huh. Man, that's a tough one because I, I've seen so many bands live that I completely love. But apart from like bands that I love, I really got to give a shout out to this one band because I saw them live last year on the Kiss Cruise and I was so blown away. Like I, I was honestly, I was so freaking blown away. And this was a band that like I wasn't really that into. Um, the band is The Darkness. Like... You will remember it's like I believe in a thing called love. Na, 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 na. Yeah, anyway, that's pretty much like the song everyone knows them for. Like they don't know any other songs. And like I was pretty much the same. Like I knew like one way ticket and like a, maybe a couple of other songs. But the moment they came on the stage, like completely blew me away. Like they were they sounded amazing. The singer sounded exactly how he does on the records, how he sings like that. I have no freaking idea. Like, holy shit, I was completely blown away and not only that though they were funny they had like a comedy show but they didn't put too much talking in to overdo it you know it was just perfect like and their jokes were like the jokes were so british as well which i totally love because british humor is like completely hilarious probably because i'm from new zealand so i get it but like honestly like i honestly if you ever get the chance to see the darkness i would go and frickin' see them. A question we get asked quite a lot is why did we relocate from New Zealand? Because as a lot of you know, Blue Ruin has members from all over the place. So um, two of us are from New Zealand and the other two are from Italy. So why we moved from New Zealand, it really was just one of those things that everything just sort of fell into place. It just sort of happened. Anna was already planning to move over to live in Germany and we already were wanting to do shows outside of New Zealand. It just sort of happened, you know, that Anna was wanting to move over there and we thought, well, we'll keep the band going and we'll relocate over there. Like it, it all just sort of came together. So that's really the reason. Do you have any other projects coming up? Yes, we do. Um, so 
we got obviously there's been like a bit of a delay because of the coronavirus we were supposed to go on tour with la guns in may um unfortunately that has been postponed it's not cancelled um so make sure you stay up to date and follow us and we will let you know as soon as we know um what the details are going to be on that um but we are planning on putting out a full length record as soon as we can so at the moment we are in the process of just finishing off the songwriting and stuff we have like a decent amount of material um we just need a couple more songs and then we're going to be good to go so you can definitely expect a full length record from us very soon so just make sure you keep following us and stay updated for that as well okay i'm working on my solo project with my band, Eliana Kanyelut Band. This is the main project for next year. And then I have to tour with uh, the other bands of mine, Tribute of the Purple and the Waterfall Band from New Zealand, Blue Ruin. Now we actually do have um, a cover in the works that is really cool and it's a little bit different for us, um, but just stay tuned for that. It's a really fun one. I just, I can't wait to get it all recorded and for you guys to hear it because it's going to be super super cool thank you for listening ciao bye bye